Hi, it's Al here from The Rider Firm and today I'm going to walk you through getting your new can out the box and ready for your first adventure. You don't need a lot of tools to get your can ready. You need some side cutters or scissors or a knife to remove the packaging. You need some Allen keys. You need a torque wrench to make sure you're doing everything up correctly. You need a pedal spanner for your pedals and also some grease for your pedals and to fit your seat post you'll need some fibre grip and this is included in your accessory box that comes with the bike. Once you've got your new bike out of the box it's time to remove all the packaging. Your side cutters, scissors or knife will be useful here but whatever you use be careful not to damage the bike, scratch the paint. The next step is to fit your seat post and saddle. Your bike will have come with some fiber grip. This was in the accessory pack and this is what you should use on the seat post before you fit it into the frame. It's important to use fiber grip on any carbon fiber seat post like we have in this Adventure 1.0 or any carbon fiber frames. Apply the paste to the post and the inside of the seat tube of your frame And using a torque wrench, tighten the seat clamp. It's important not to over torque the seat clamp. This seat clamp has a maximum torque of four Newton meters. With the seat post and saddle in place, we can now put the bike into a work stand. It's not essential, but it makes the job a lot easier. But before you do put the bike in the work stand, just make sure that the saddle and post is fitted good and tight because you don't want that to slip with it in the stand. Now you've got all the packaging off and the bike in the stand, you get rid of all your packaging. It'd be awesome if you could dispose of it responsibly, recycle what you can. And before we carry on with the rest of the build, then we're gonna take the battery out of the bike so we can get it charging. With a Fazur bike, you'll get the key in your accessory pack. If you unlock the pack by turning it clockwise and pull the lever here and the whole drive pack will be released from the bike like so and we can get that on charge. If your can has a Shimano unit and you want to charge the battery off the bike you need to grab your key at your accessory pack and this is an anti-clockwise turn and then just swing the battery round and off the bike. If you happen to have a socket near your bike then with the Shimano system you can charge on the bike with the battery still fitted by removing this cover and fitting your charger straight into the port there. With the battery on charge next thing to do is to fit the handlebar. Remove the bolts from the bar clamp like so and then we can offer up the handlebar. Just make sure that the hoses and the cables are all orientated correctly. And then we can start screwing the bolts into place. Once you've nipped the bolts up, then we want to position the bars so they're roughly where you're going to want them when you ride. You can fine tune it later on. Make sure that the bars are centered, so left to right in the stem, and then nip up all of the bolts. It's important to have an even gap top and bottom on most stems. So that's the gap between the clamp and the body of the stem, top and bottom. Some stems, you'll need to tighten the clamp all the way up to the top, but on this Ritchie stem, there should be an even gap. Once they're nipped up and the bar's where you want it, we can get out the torque wrench and tighten them to torque. The torque setting for this Ritchie stem is five Newton meters, but check with your stem to make sure you're tightening it to the correct torque. You should tighten the bolts in an X pattern. So you're doing each bolt bit by bit and maintaining that gap between the clamp and the stem. There we go. They're all torqued to five Newton meters. Next up, we're going to fit the wheel. Remove the through axle from your fork. It's a good idea to apply a small amount of grease to the threads, like so. Offer up the wheel. 
making sure that the disc rotor fits nicely between the brake pads and then insert the through axle. With the through axle in place, we need to tighten it to torque. On this particular bike, it's 10 newton meters. There we go, that's the wheel secured. Next step is to fit your favorite pair of pedals. These don't come with a bike. When you fit them, make sure that the threads are clean. Apply some grease to both of the pedals. And initially you want to screw them in by hand. That way, there's much less danger of you cross-threading the cranks. Remember that with pedals on the drive side, it's a regular thread. And on the non-drive side, it's a left-hand thread. So you're rotating it towards the front of the bike on both sides. Once you've screwed the pedals in as far as you can by hand, use your tool, be it an Allen key or a pedal spanner, depending on the style of your pedals, to make sure that they're fully tightened as per the manufacturer's instructions. Next thing that we need to do is make sure that our tires are at the correct pressure. We've got some 38s on here, so we're gonna inflate those to about 40 PSI. It's very important that you don't exceed the maximum pressure of either the rim or the tire. Next step, once it's fully charged, is to fit the drive pack back into the bike. Turn the key, make sure it's locked into place and you're good to go. One quick top tip regarding the keys. It is a proper lock on your bike, so make sure that you separate your two keys so you've got a spare somewhere safe at home and keep your key card as well because you'll need that if you need to order spare keys. Refitting a Shimano battery pack is super easy. Just locate the contacts, slide it into place and remove the key. So that's pretty much it. You might want to tweak the setup a little bit. So check your saddle height, make sure that's where you would like it. Check the rotation of your bars, get those where you'd like them. Make sure your stems torqued back up once you've done that. You can grab the bars, make sure they're good and tight in the stem. And also pinch the front wheel between your knees and make sure that the stem is good and secure. Also check your brakes, make sure that they're working as they should. And just take it easy, have a little test ride, just to make sure everything's working before you ride it properly. One final thing that you should check, should all be sorted for you anyway, but just in case, just make sure that the magnet here on the wheel is lined up with the speed sensor that sits on the inside of the non-drive side chainstay. If they're not lined up properly, the system won't work as it should. So just make sure they're properly aligned. And if you ever swap wheels, remember to swap the magnet. If you have any problems at all, please hit us up at cairncycles.com. Our customer service team will be happy to help you out by email, live chat, or over the phone. So that's it, all ready to go, ready for your next adventure. Thanks for watching, see ya.